This is my life now. She didn't cut my charts. All right, so I must be a glutton for punishment, but following up from the last video we did where we found out that ProRes recorded internally on the GH6 was different to both the B-RAW and the internally recorded Longop and All Eye Codex. Go see that video if you haven't seen it already. But basically, the data levels of ProRes when recorded with the GH6 are being interpreted as video levels when they should be being read as full range. So we needed to manually go back into the clip attributes and change it to full rather than auto. Now, I had a couple of questions I wanted to answer following on from there. A, is it a resolve problem? So we're gonna look at that later on in the video. And two, is it inherently a GH6 problem with uh, internally recorded ProRes or ProRes in general? So we've done a few tests here uh, to follow up on this and try to get to the bottom of what's happening. Anyway, let's check it out. So here we are again in Resolve and we've got some new tests here, starting off with the ProRes internal and ProRes external. Now these were recorded at exactly the same time. Okay, so ProRes internal, external, still in a slog state here, but you can see that they're being interpreted in exactly the same way as there is no change um, when we select either of those. Now we've also recorded a B-RAW at the same time as a control and bang, we get the same effect as we did the other day with both the internal and externally recorded through the HDMI to the video assist. So that tells us that it is ProRes in general, whether it's internal or externally recorded on the GH6, it ha has some kind of metadata which tells Resolve, hey, I'm video levels, when really it should be full range. Okay, so now the next question needs to be, is it just the GH6 doing this? So we've got a couple more down here, okay? We've got the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, ProRes, okay? And we can watch down here in the waveform and see how it differs from B-RAW. So if we go B-RAW, there is a slight, is there even a difference? It's ever so slight if we watch these waveforms, very subtle. But if you watch the wave de waveforms down here between the GH6 ProRes watching and B-RAW, it's more of a massive change. You can see both ends of the contrast spectrum really being pushed out. Whereas between Blackmagic and ProRes, there's a tiny little shift. I recorded these separately. Maybe the light dropped off a little bit because it seems to be a pretty uniform difference. Okay, so it's not happening with a Blackmagic camera. So there we have it. It's not happening with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera footage. So. Is this just the fact that Resolve is reading the Blackmagic footage better because they're both made by Blackmagic? Well, we thought this might be the case, so we threw everything into Final Cut. We, I did, whatever. Threw it into Final Cut to see if we got the same results. So let's check that out. All right, so here we are in Final Cut. Now, this first clip here is GH6 recorded ProRes. And then second, we have HEVC recorded from the GH6. And you can see here, there's a definite data levels change, just like we were seeing in Resolve. And now the third clip is the Blackmagic Pocket ProRes. And although it's a different log profile, you can see just visually that it's pretty much got the same data levels going on there. Um, and it's looking the same as it was in Resolve. When we jump across here, everything gets darker as it's been interpreted as video levels. So there you have it. It seems like there is something about how the GH6 is encoding ProRes and the metadata that it's using, which is causing NLEs across the board to interpret it as video levels when it should be data levels. Now, the problem in Final Cut's case is unless I'm wrong, and please correct me if I am, uh, I don't know of a way to change this. I've been through the settings in Final Cut and I can't find a way of switching it from video to data levels like you can in Resolve. If you can, please let us know in the comments, but um, that could potentially be an issue there. Now, are there workarounds uh, in that case? I've heard of people saying that there's some LUTs that you can use that brings the ranges back into 
um, the normal way of doing things. I've heard people say, who cares, just grade it. But if you're trying to match footage, first of all, that's with um, non ProRes clips from the same camera, that can potentially cause issues. And I haven't really thought through everything, but I really feel like it could cause issues down the line. It is a workaround to try and fix this. It's not like the way things should be, okay? So the solution, it seems, is for the GH6 to attach the right metadata to the files. Now, I could be way off the mark, and please, uh, again, the comment section's where you can set me straight or add to the conversation. I just want to see why this is happening. It's, it intrigues me. Anyway, I guess that's all I've got time for. Um, just wanted to follow up and keep the conversation going, see if anyone can um, find out what's going on uh, and enlighten me. One other thing I'll, I've just thought of before I sign off is my Shinobi monitor, when using it with the GH6, sometimes when I'm using Vlog, it will have a similar thing that happens. And Gerald Undone did a video about this in relation to the Sony cameras was doing the same thing. And I actually grabbed his LUT to install on the Shinobi so that it would interpret the V-Log properly so I could monitor it properly. And use that LUT in combination with others in Resolve to make my own monitoring LUT on the GH6 when I'm outputting to the Shinobi. So basically, it'll output normally if you're using a normal color profile, but when you go to V-Log, it's off. The colors are off, you can't view it properly. So I'm wondering if that's a similar related part of the issue. Anyway, long story short, GH6 should record ProRes with the same data level meta, data level meta encoding that it records everything else internally, externally, all the rest of it. Why doesn't it? I don't know. You tell me. Can we get this fixed? Is it a problem? <sighs> Enlighten me, people. Catch you on the next one.